It is time now to journey to the Akashic Records where there is valuable information available for you. So just stretch and yawn and get comfortable either sitting or lying. And when you are ready, you can close your eyes and begin to take some nice deep breaths. Inhaling slowly and deeply. Exhaling slowly and deeply. And with each inhale, imagine you are inhaling relaxing blue light. And the blue light is moving all through your body, relaxing every part of your body. Just notice how good that feels to feel your body with peace and relaxation. And notice that with each out breath, you are releasing all that does not serve you, any tension from your day just melts away. And you relax into the blue light, feeling at peace. Take now in your mind's eye a small broom, a hand broom, and begin to whisk along the edges of your aura. Whisk, whisk, whisk away all the energetic debris of your day. Whisk, whisk, whisk away. And just feel yourself becoming clean and shiny. Feel the dust flying away as you emerge brilliant, brilliant and shiny. Now in your mind's eye, take a small pair of energetic scissors and begin to cut all the way around you cutting any cords that connect you to anything that drains you or holds you down in any way. Cutting, cutting away any connections to anything low in vibration that is holding you down in any way. And now you are feeling light and free, light and free, connected only to those people and places you choose to be connected to. Your energy is now preserved and you are no longer losing energy to anyone or anything, to any situation or circumstance. You are now free. Place now your attention on the crown of your head, on the top of your head, and notice there is a wonderful tingling sensation. On the top of your head, there is a circle of bright white light tingling in the top of your head like a crown. And as you feel this tingling sensation, you begin to grow it up, up, up into the air, into a cylinder of bright white light. Above you, you see a giant golden sun. And you recognize this golden sun. For this is your higher self, where you come from and where you return. And you connect your cylinder of bright white light to the giant golden sun. 
connecting your little self to your higher self and all of that divine source energy begins to flow down into the crown of your head as you charge up charge charge up And you can feel the energy moving down into each chakra, spinning and expanding your third eye so that your vision is increased. And it moves down into your throat chakra where it spins and expands, increasing your ability to speak from the divine. And the energy moves down into your heart chakra, spinning and expanding, increasing your ability to love and be loved. Down into your solar plexus, the energy spins and expands, increasing your ability to know who you really are and stand in your truth. The energy moves down into your navel, expanding your creativity and ability to create. Finally, moving down into your perineum, it spins and expands, expanding your sense of safety, security, strength, and groundedness. And finally, the light goes down and around you in a giant rainbow bubble. Inside this bubble, you feel safe. You are protected. You feel yourself expanding. The bubble expands. As you expand, you feel yourself getting bigger and brighter and bolder. In your expanded state, you are ready to go on a journey. And so your expanded bubble begins to lift up moving up skyward through your crown chakra and you begin to float float in the sky feeling light and free happy buoyant like a bubble and as you begin to move skyward you notice in the distance There is a spiral staircase made of crystal and you recognize the spiral staircase for this is the staircase that takes you up to higher realms where there is wisdom and guidance available for you today. You walk towards the crystal staircase excited, inspired, knowing that your guides are waiting for you, that the information is available to you. And you begin to ascend the spiral staircase, step by step, moving up and around to the second level. You continue up and around to the third level, feeling yourself getting lighter with each step up and around to the third level and you continue up and around to the fourth level feeling yourself getting lighter and lighter and as you are moving up and around to the fifth level you're not even walking anymore you are floating weightless up and around to the sixth level getting more and more light and bright up and around to the seventh level. The excitement is growing up 
up and around to the eighth level, up and around, you continue to the ninth level, and again, you ascend, ascend, up and around to the tenth level, you are almost there, finally, one more circuit up and around and you have arrived at the 11th level this is the level where the Akashic Records is found and you see a doorway of light and you enter into that doorway of light filled with glowing knowing Moving into the doorway of light, you see a beautiful field of flowers as you exit the staircase. And across the field of flowers in the distance, you can see a majestic building. This is your destination. You begin traveling across the field of flowers with the butterflies. You cross over a small stream on a little cobblestone bridge. And as you cross over, you enter into another realm, another place where there is information available just for you. You enter now the large doors of the library. And as you enter the library, you look around, it's so beautiful. You notice all the books from floor to ceiling, the vaulted ceilings, all of the different rooms, all of the different information. You can feel the presence of guides in this place, beautiful angelic beings here to help you. As you enter the library, the librarian approaches you at the circulation desk. The librarian is here to assist you. You give the librarian your name, your full name, and you ask for information related to your soul. If you have a particular question, ask it now. Once you have asked your question, you can begin walking down the hallway. The librarian will guide you and assist you in finding the right room to get the answers that you need today. There are many rooms in the library, and each room provides different answers. You can visit one of the rooms or all of the rooms as you need. You notice the hallway is bright and light-filled and beautiful. And you feel yourself inspired and excited as you walk down the hallway. The librarian takes you first to the theater room. The librarian is giving you a short tour of the library to assist you in your journey. On the left, you enter into the theater room, which looks just like a movie theater with many seats and a large screen at the front of the room. And there is a guide here called the projectionist who will help you. In this room, you can receive information about your past lives, about your soul contracts with other souls, about your life purpose. If this is the correct room for you, you can stay in this room. Sit down in the chair and watch the lights dim and see the image appearing on the screen. You are being shown scenes from a past life. 
that are relevant to your current life. Afterwards, if you stay in this room, you will also be shown information about the agreements you made for this lifetime and how they relate to your current questions. If this is the room for you, stay here and continue to observe the information that you need and tune out my voice as you tune in to the guidance. The rest of us will continue the journey And if your librarian is informing you that you are meant to go into another room, continue then on this journey, this tour of the records. As we walk down the hallway, there is a room on the right, the conference room. It is a round room with a round table. And when you enter this room, you sit down at the table facing the door and then different guides walk in ancestors, animals, teachers. In this room, you can ask any questions you have related to ancestors, to animals, to your guides. If this is the room for you, stay here and receive your guidance. Your guides will speak to you. They will plant ideas in your mind. They will show you images on the table, maps and diagrams, explanations. And if this is the room for you, you can tune out my voice as you listen to your guides while we continue down the hallway. And now on the left, there is the mother's room. This is a room of healing. And if you require healing, you can leave a part of yourself in the healing room at the same time that you visit in other rooms and receive information. Inside the healing room is a large, majestic, divine mother who provides healing. She has in her room a pool of colored water and colored lights with which to heal. If this is appropriate for you now, receive some healing from the mother. As we continue down the hallway, we encounter another room on the right, the bank vault. It looks just like a bank vault with a large heavy door and there is a guide here called the banker who will assist you. In this room, you can get information about your gifts. Enter the room and there is a small table and chair just for you. You sit down and the banker retrieves a bank box for you, a security deposit box. The room is filled with boxes from floor to ceiling and one is yours. It glows and lights up with your name on it. And as they retrieve the box for you, you are excited and they set the box down in front of you and you reach your hand into the box and you begin to feel objects and symbols. And as you grasp each one, you become aware of the gift that it represents. receive this information while we continue down the hallway to the last room the map room this is the room that has information about the journey of your soul about your soul purpose 
There is a guide here called the map maker who has a large schematic of your soul's path with all of your different lifetimes. And you can ask the map maker about your soul purpose in this room. You can travel from room to room, receiving answers to your questions. There is no time and there are no limits to how many rooms you can visit and how much information you can receive. So visit the rooms now as needed to receive your information. When you are ready, you can begin to make your way back to the entrance to the library. Thanking the librarian and remembering everything you have seen, felt, and heard. You make your way out of the heavy doors across the small bridge over the bubbling brook, across